Hello everyone, it's Miss Ming here. Welcome to another Shop With Me video. Today's video, we're going to shop with me at one of my favorite stores, Trader Joe's. We're gonna see what's new at Trader Joe's, what's my repurchases. Let's go shopping with me. If you've watched my channel, you know that I love the Trader Joe's sparkling water and there is a new flavor, it's the blackberry vanilla flavor. It's priced as $3.49 and honestly, I love Trader Joe's sparkling water. Some of my favorite flavors are the green apple and the clementine and orange. However, they discontinued the green apple ones. So let's try out the new flavor. So I bought a case when I, and I tried it when I got home. It has a very nice cherry flavor. The flavor kind of tastes like the cherry sparkling water from the brand Waterloo. It's a very subtle hint of vanilla. It's a little bit underwhelming, but it tastes pretty good. It's a very nice cherry flavor, sparkling water, and a hint of sweetness from the vanilla. It's good, but still not my favorite sparkling water. Trader Joe's, please bring back the green apple flavor. For some reason, my Trader Joe's sold out all of the salad kits. So what's left is the Sesame Crunch $3.99. I think this one is relatively new. It has a very nice Asian salad flavor. Um, it has bok choy, some cabbage, and the dressing is kind of like the Asian salad dressing. And of course, there is soybean oil in the dressing. Soybean oil is not the healthiest, but from time to time, it's okay. I'm a lazy. I love the Trader Joe's <laughs> salad kit. So this one is a good one if you like that Asian crunchy salad. Normally, I would go with the lemony arugula, but my Trader Joe's sold out. Um, another repurchase item is the Trader Joe's adamami with sea salt. This one, the ingredients are really, really simple. It's just the adamami soybeans and the sea salt. It has a very nice flavor. It's super high in fiber and very high in protein. So you can put these as a salad topper or you can put it in your ramen noodles. It just adds so much flavor and nutrients and texture so, and you can just snack on it as well. Finally, we decided to go for the Trader Joe's Organic Scissor Salad Kit. It was relatively new last year, $4.99, and we decided to give it a try. My husband, who loves junk food, was so excited about the new flavor for the potato chips. This is the Trader Joe's Pizza Party Potato Chips. It's a new flavor. It's kind of like pizza flavored chips. So this particular item, it kind of reminds me of the pizza pillow snacks that we tried in the past. I'm pretty sure it's the same seasoning. It actually tastes pretty similar to the pizza flavor or the pizza seasoning. And it tastes like cheese pizza. However, I do want to caution you that it's cooked with vegetable oil. So vegetable oil is highly processed, including sunflower and or canola oil it's very high omega-6 so don't over consume it it's not healthy Trader Joe's actually has all olive oil uh, potato chips and I think that there's like avocado oil version so if you want to go for the health factor go for the healthier oil but this is a new flavor my husband is obsessed with it he really really liked it it does taste like the pizza flavor so it's worth trying once in a while Trader Joe's has another new item is the Joe's O's cereal bars with peanut butter this one is $2.99 it's pretty cheap however i do want to caution you those granola bars cereal bars they're not healthy because they're naked carbs so if you do monitor your blood sugar like i used to wear a continuous glucose glucose monitor because my blood sugar was actually high so ever since i stopped eating all of this naked carbs such as the cereal and <laughs> granola bars my blood sugar is stabilized so i do not recommend eating this but it's a good, very nice like crunch to it it's basically like a sweet snack it has a peanut butter flavored coating which contains palm kernel oil which is not very very healthy and also has a lot of good carbs the ingredients is definitely not 100% clean. It has 6 grams of added sugar. And my problem with these bars is that it doesn't have a lot of protein. It doesn't have a lot of healthy fat. However, it has a lot of carbs and added sugar. And that's what actually spikes my glucose. <laughs> so that's why I try not to eat a lot of those. But if you have tried this item, please comment down below if it tastes good share your opinion if you like it or not and definitely once in a while if you eat it as like after a meal it's okay with the blood sugar I don't know if it's new, but Trader Joe's is putting out their unsweetened instant oatmeal. I love instant oatmeal. I know it's not the best oatmeal you can get. It's better to get the rolled oats that you actually cook. However, I'm lazy. Sometimes like my morning is a little hectic. So I decided to give it a try. 
This one it says it's made with whole grain oats and quinoa, flax seeds, chia seeds, and ingredients are pretty clean. The only issue is that it's not organic. I wish it's organic, but it's not. But with this particular item, it's a high carb item, but it's also very high in fiber and it's also relatively higher in protein compared to like other carbs. And also, I put a lot of like a Trader Joe's almond butter and some fruit to sweeten it. I wish it's organic, but it's not. But oatmeal is known to increase milk supply. I'm still nursing, so I decided to give it a try. It actually has pretty good texture. It just takes 90 seconds in the microwave to cook it, and I do really enjoy this. A healthier version of oatmeal would have been this organic rolled oats with Asian grains and seeds. That one is really good, $4.99. It's right next to the unsweetened instant oatmeal. I know I went for convenience, but I also saw this organic oats and flax instant oatmeal. I was like, it's organic. Maybe I should try this one. It's $3.99. However, when I looked at the nutrition facts, oh my gosh, it has 10 grams of added sugar. It's not necessary to put added sugar in there. Why would it do that? Like, if you want sugar, you can just add it on your own. So I regretfully put it back. Trader Joe's also has this relatively new chocolate almond protein smoothie at $3.49. $3.49 is not too expensive for a smoothie item. So let's take a look. So initially I was like, oh, protein beverage. This is pretty good. It's plant-based protein uh, with oat beverage and pea protein. It's non-dairy. However, if you take a look at ingredients, oh my gosh, it's first of all, 17 grams of added sugar. I can go with like five grams of added sugar, but 17 grams of added sugar is almost as much as protein in this drink. It also has um, sunflower oil, natural flavors, and the gorgon. Those are like stabilizers. And I think sunflower oil is probably just for the texture to smooth it out. So I feel like with all of these additives, it's no longer a very healthy item, especially with that high, super high sugar intake. If it has like five grams of sugar, I think it would, it would have been okay. I always look at the protein to fat to sugar ratio you know like if it's like way more protein than sugar then that's fine but this one i just couldn't sign up on it all right in the deli aisle it's listed as new item this is the new trader joe's spring rolls with tofu and the new trader joe's spring rolls with shrimp first of all the price is for uh, 5.49 so it's five dollars and fifty cents for two little spring rolls um so i just want to say the price seems a little bit high to me because when i go to a lot of asian restaurants for two spring rolls at this size a lot of times they're priced as four dollars um i know i live in in Texas so probably it's cheaper here compared to like if you live in New York the restaurants there are a little bit more expensive so this is definitely not a cheap item taking a look at ingredients the ingredients is not too bad at all and we actually bought the shrimp version and tried it at home both me and my husband really like the dipping sauce the shakashio dipping sauce is really delicious and the spring rolls it has like salad and noodles in there it has like a very nice crunch however there are not a lot of shrimps I think there are like two shrimps in each spring rolls on um, average and they're pretty small shrimps um personally i just feel like yeah it tastes good but is it worth the price definitely no i feel like it could have been cheaper it should have been priced as like 4.49 um at least one dollar cheaper than this maybe i'll repurchase so my husband thought that it tastes good but it's not worth the price so it's not like we don't like it but we just feel like the price is a little bit high for what you get Similarly, I would think that the profit margin for spring rolls with tofu is really high because tofus are not expensive at all. I understand shrimps are kind of expensive, but if you just buy tofu and make it yourself, it's super easy. And the cost of making this two tofu rolls is probably just $2, but it's priced as $5.49, the same price of shrimp. So definitely, I just feel like the price is too high new juice item trader joe's has this new to the power of red 4.99 juice so if you know brandon my husband he loves the power of green and the power of purple both the green juice and purple juice taste really good so we decided to try out this red juice um i don't drink a lot of juice just because like it has a lot of pure sugar without any fiber because it eliminated the fiber but this one i think it's actually interesting it has organic beet strawberry hibiscus tea as watermelon like 
all of this like red fruit. And the ingredients is like ninety percent juice to it. It's elder has elderberry, strawberry puree. So we bought it and tried it out. It actually tastes really, really refreshing. It has a very strong watermelon flavor with a little hint of strawberry at the end and a little hint of、um, the hibiscus teas. I really liked it. However, my husband was still. Um, his favorite it's still the green juice and the purple juice. So it really depends. I feel like this red juice tastes a little bit sweeter than the other ones, just because the presence of these like sweet fruit compared to the other ones. Comment down below which one is your favorite: the green juice, the purple juice, or the red juice. To my vegan friends, Trader Joe's actually launched this sliced vegan pepperoni at four ninety nine. It's a plant based alternative to pepperoni. So if you want to enjoy vegan pizza, now not only you have vegan cheese, you also have the vegan pepperoni. But is it really healthy? Okay, first of all,、um, it's maybe my <laughs> unpopular opinion again. I do not like pepperoni. It tastes like paper to me. Second of all, the first ingredient is water. The second ingredient is soybean oil, and then wheat gluten potato. Protein isolate. So, just to me, the added addition of soybean oil is just not very good. It also has carrageenan or carrageenan, whichever you pronounce it. It's a、um, stabilizer, and overconsumption of carrageenan is also bad for health. It doesn't mean that you can't eat it at all. It's just the consumption of it. So, it's not like I hate vegan food, but this is like highly processed vegan food. I would rather eat like tofu and mommy beans. Um, peas compared to this like highly processed fake vegan meat. Well, I may be biased because I do not like pepperoni anyways. So comment down below if you have tried it. Did you like the texture? I just feel like the ingredients is definitely not too clean and it's just too highly processed. At the cheese aisle is the Trader Joe's black garlic cream cheese spread. Like Trader Joe's has like launched so many different cream cheese, and this one is a savory cream cheese for your crackers or bagels. If you want to make that bagel sandwich with smoked salmon, a lot of people love it and swear by this. I do want to caution you that it does have like the gorgon dim sum gum at the very bottom. It's okay to consume them from time to time. It's just not over like overconsumption of these may hurt your microbiome. But other than that, it's A really good one for your crackers, and if you want to make like a bagel sandwich. Trader Joe's has launched more and more skincare products, and this time I see this vanilla lip mask at five ninety nine. So I actually compared the ingredients of this one and the Valentine specials, and it has pretty similar ingredients. I love the Trader Joe's lip mask. It's very hydrating. It heals your chap lip immediately after minutes. It has a lot of good ingredients such as the coconut oil,、um, shea butter, and things like that. And personally, I didn't try the vanilla flavor because I'm. Still working on these ones. These are seven ninety nine for two. It's a lip lip mask duo with the berry flavor and the chocolate flavor. It honestly tastes very delicious, super hydrating and super rich and moisturizing. Um, eight dollars for two or six dollars for one. I just bought the two, so me and husband that we split this one. It has very similar ingredients to the vanilla flavor, so I loved it. So I highly recommend if you haven't tried it, pick this up at your Trader Joe's just when this winter season when it's like super super dry. Trader Joe's has this new seasoning blend called Aglio Olio. I actually looked it up. It's apparently a Italian.、Um, Aglio means garlic, and Olio means oil. So this one is really good to season your pasta, your vegetable. It's like garlicky and spicy. It doesn't have to be spicy, but they said sometimes they put chili peppers in this. The ingredient list is really simple. It does have safflower oil at the end. I wish they used olive oil, which is the original recipe for this particular seasoning to cook pasta. So if you use it, you just put some extra virgin olive oil, put some of the seasoning for your pasta and or vegetables. It's a really good seasoning blend to use. In the Fearless Flyer, there's also this Cuban Spell Citrus Garlic Fla- Seasoning Blend. It's two twenty nine. Brandon loves this. He uses this for vegetables and sometimes with fish. It's a very nice flavor from the garlic, but also a little bit of cumin powder, a lot of pepper, and also a little bit of that like bitter orange oil. It has like that citric acid to it.、Um, it's a very nice spice with a little bit of citric. I personally like this on my fish, especially on the white fish,、um, to add a little bit of that Cuban-style garlic flavor.
In the Indian food section, we have this new Bengal Barda, three forty nine. I think it's a relatively new item. It's basically a roasted eggplant curry. So if you love curry flavor, this may be the one for you. The curry eggplant has a very strong flavor. So if you love that strong flavor profile, this may be the one for you. It does have canola oil. I wish they don't put canola oil in there. I wish they use coconut oil instead. And interestingly, it also has a fun group Greek、um, leaves. That one is actually helps. With like milk supply, maybe I should have picked this up. But next to it is actually Brandon's favorite. This is the paneer cheese, and he swears by this dish. The sauce, the green, green sauce, sauce, is made really, with like really, spinach, really, really and、nice. paneer cheese is like such a good texture together. It's like a combination of a very nice Indian flavor. And to be honest, this one actually the flavoring is not too strong because it's more of that spinach, the spinach green sauce flavor. It's like a bit of the curry compared to like a super strong. Curry dish. So this item is three ninety nine. It's Brenda's favorite Indian food from Trader Joe's. New popcorn flavor at Trader Joe's. This is the pecan popcorn. I believe it's two ninety nine on for the price. And I had to Google what pecan actually means. Apparently, the meaning of pecan is agreeably stimulating your palate. So basically, it's a palate mouth watering stimulating popcorn flavor. So this popcorn flavor is seasoned with nutritional eats.、Um, it's seasoned with garlic, with pepper. And it's not a normal popcorn flavor. However, it does have sunflower oil, which is not my favorite oil, but that's okay. I actually bought it and tried it. Dan, this is the most mouth-watering popcorn flavor I've ever tried. It actually tastes really, really good. I would have to agree. It does stimulate my palate like crazy. It's so delicious. It's such a nice savory popcorn flavor. So if you love that savory flavor of a popcorn, pick this up. You won't regret it. Trader Joe's has launched a lot of sweet snacks for the month of February, starting with the Brookie caramel custards at three ninety nine. Okay, to be honest with you, this may be unpopular opinion. I do not like to eat caramel for some reason. It just tastes like burnt sugar to me, and honestly, it is burnt sugar. So、um, personally, it's not my tea.、Um, this item, to my surprise, they actually use coconut oil, and I love coconut oil. It's way healthier than like palm oil or other types of oil. It does have like canola. Oil towards the end of it, but the ingredients list are usually listed by concentration. Like the most concentrated ingredients are listed first. So this item, even though it's not super clean, it has like natural flavoring.、Uh, we don't know if it's natural or not. It is a little bit better than a lot of the other candy items in the world. So if you love caramel and you have tried it, please comment down below if it actually tastes good. It seems like a pretty interesting item.、Um, As a candy item, the ingredients is actually not too bad. So comment down below what you think. This is actually an old item. This is the Trader Joe's Papa Tom's Lentil and Chickpea Crisp. If you have watched my channel, you know that like a long, long time ago, I actually used this chip to try one of the cheese dip. I really like this chip. It's a little bit on the drier side, so if you get this one, like it kind of crumbles, like the texture crumbles a lot. I think it's because of the combination of chickpeas and the、um, lentils. But it actually has a very nice flavor. They use restaurant oil, which is pretty okay. It has a nice cool. And flavor as well in the ingredients as well. I do like it. It's kind of like a dry trip. If you buy it, definitely you need a dip. You can get the tzatziki sauce. You can do get the hummus. Make sure you get the dip for this chip because it's like on the drier side of chips. New item alert! Trader Joe's has a new flavor for their JoJo's. This is the cinnamon bun inspired JoJo's. So it's basically cinnamon flavored JoJo's.、Um, it's a three forty nine. I don't eat a lot of Trader Joe's JoJo's anymore, just because I feel like every single season there's always a new JoJo's flavor. It kind of tastes very similar as the cream sandwich.、Um, it does have palm oil, canola oil. It has like super high in sugar.、Um, I am not a big on sweets, anyways. It's like thirty. 13 grams of added sugar, so I always skip the JoJo's, but I know a lot of my friends love it. So if you have tried this cinnamon bun flavor, comment down below.、Um, from the look of it, it actually looks like you know that churros like has like cinnamon sugar on top. So comment down below if you like it, if you recommend it. 
Trader Joe's also has this chocolate drizzled strawberry kettle popcorn. Okay, it's three forty nine. I actually had to stand there for a while to see if I actually wanted to buy it because even though I'm not a big fan of sweets, I do like kettle popcorn. So this one it has like a nice chocolate flavor, but it does have palm kernel oil in the drizzle. Sadly, it has popcorn, sugar, sunflower oil, freeze dried strawberries. So what I think is that they actually have freeze dried. Strawberry、um, little crumbles, and then drizzled it on top is the chocolate. It seems like a pretty good item. If you like sweet popcorn, I think it would be a good one because the strawberry flavor is not fake. It's actually from the freeze dried strawberries. Is the ingredient list clean? No, but、um, I think if you do like sweet popcorns, you would really enjoy this. So if you have it, comment down below if you liked it. Also, Trader Joe's has this triple ginger pretzels.、Um, it's at price at two ninety nine. Personally, I'm not a big fan of ginger. I know it's another unpopular opinion, and honestly, every single Chinese person that I know loves ginger. I'm just one of a kind. I do not like ginger, but this one it has like crystallized like sugar ginger to it. It but it does have palm kernel oil to it, which is a turn off to me.、Um, Over consumption of palm kernel oil is not good for my health. It's also a sugarly sugar. Items, but if you're a huge fan of ginger candies, maybe you will like this item. But again, super sugary. Um, um, it has pretzels in the middle and the sugar coating on the very top, and then that like crystallized sugar ginger at the very top. If I were gonna pick a sweet treat from this aisle, it would have been this double chocolate wafer cookies at three forty nine. Oh, I love these wafer cookies! It's such nice cream in the middle, and it's like super crunchy at the very top. And also, most of these wafer cookies actually have pretty good ingredients. Like the ingredients is just like not bad. Of course, it has soy elastin as an emulsifier and a little bit of natural flavors. But compared to the other ones that has like really bad oil, really bad like palm like hydrogenated oil. Oils and like a ton of sugar. This one is actually not as high in sugar, and the ingredients are relatively clean, and it just tastes so good, full of flavor and texture. New frozen dessert item at Trader Joe's. This is the Trader Joe's chocolate cheesecake bites at four ninety nine. I love Trader Joe's frozen desserts. I feel like these little bites, because they are actually pre sliced, it's very hard to overeat them, which is nice.、Um, the ingredients is not a hundred percent clean. It does have soybean oil, canola oil. It does have like the gore gum, zamsam gum, like a stabilizer. It also has like emulsifiers, that soy elastin.、Um, however, if you're gonna eat dessert, I think this is actually not too bad. My favorite dessert at Trader Joe's is actually the Trader Joe's mochi and also their、uh, macaroons. But if you like cheesecake, if you just eat one bite, it's only five grams of added sugar. Who eats just one bite? If you eat those bites, comment down below. How many bites do you eat every time you eat it?、Um, I usually can. Limit to two, but that's a very interesting one. And Trader Joe's cheesecake has a pretty good texture, so I would assume this one tastes good. So if you have tried it, comment down below. Okay, I repurchased this item over and over again. Is the Trader Joe's organic acai puree packet? This one is unsweetened, and the acai fruit actually is high in fat, low in sugar, high in fiber, high in antioxidant. It's really healthy superfood. Three ninety nine. So I grabbed two bags for shakes. All right, new item alert. This is the Trader Joe's mini mochi rice nugget. It's priced as one ninety nine. It's basically the same as the mochi rice nugget. The only difference is it's like a mini version of it. You can snack on it. You can put it on your soup. You can also put it on like salad toppers. It has a very nice sticky rice sweetness to it. It's not sweet. It's like a savor item. It has like sea salt to it. But for some reason, every time I chew on it, I can always taste a little bit sweetness from the rice. Apparently, according to my biology class, there's this enzyme in your saliva that breaks down the rice as you chew on it, and you can taste a little bit of the sweetness from the glucose from the rice. It's it's just so amazing, and I love that sticky rice flavor. So if you don't know what mochi is, it's basically sticky rice. So when you first Crunch on it; it's very crunchy. But then, as you're chewing on it, it just becomes a little bit chewy and sticky for the, for the after texture. I love it so much. So two dollars for the mini versions of these. 
If you want a bigger version of this, grab this mochi rice nuggets at three twenty nine. It is basically exactly the same, only a little bit bigger. There's also a spicy flavor version of this. I personally do not like the spicy flavor that much. It's at two ninety nine. I feel like the spice flavor actually masks the natural flavoring of the rice. So this one is actually not my favorite. It has habanero pepper powder. It's super spicy. Basically, when you eat it, you can't taste like the other flavor. Flavor of the rice, you're just, you're just eating the spicy nugget. So personally, I prefer the original flavor, even though most of the times I like spicy food. So if you love mochi, if you love that texture, grab this one because like the texture of mochi is just so good. And when you bite onto it, it has like a natural sweetness to the rice, which is one of my favorite thing about eating rice. I try not to overeat them because I love them. Finally, we have this chocolate dipping kit at three ninety nine. If you want to make that chocolate covered strawberries at home, personally, I don't think it's necessary. The ingredients is not clean at all. I would just get some dark chocolate and melt it, and then just coat it with like strawberries instead of using this because this one has a ton of vegetable oils and other things that I don't think is necessary to make a chocolate covered strawberries. I've tried it with dark chocolate, just pure dark chocolate, and it was pretty successful. So I don't think we need the additives. To it, it's just to add that texture to make the texture a little bit more blendable. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for shopping with me at Trader Joe's. Subscribe and stay tuned for our actual taste test hauls, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.